So is everything here made in Wellington County? Yes, county. What's your name? My name is Shelley Walsh and I live outside of Elora, which is north of Guelph, on a beautiful farm in the middle of what is Ontario's most beautiful farmland, very rich in bounty. If I don't grow the products that I'm selling, I know my farmers that I select from. We all practice organic methods. And the only thing that is not local from Southern Ontario is the lemon. Okay, what do you got here at the show? Ideally we have, these are elixirs. You're going to take these uh, daily for your health. You may take them into the kitchen and use them as a drizzle, a marinade, a sauce. Or that you, one is a this is sea buckthorn. Very high in omega-3, 6, 7, and 9. It's the only food product that has all of those omegas. You might think of a fish oil. If you were to taste this, it's going to taste like papaya. Some people might drizzle that on a dessert. Some people might just take it daily uh, by the tablespoon. Some people might mix it with Perrier and turn it into a drink. These types of elixirs, a black currant or elderberry, are very high in antioxidants and flavonoids. So again, you would take it daily. Very safe for children. Go into the kitchen and use it as a marinade or a sauce. Uh, or take it into the bar and you can make alcoholic or non-alcoholic beverages. All the while, it's a functional food. It's good for you. Good. What's this? this is a chutney. This is a chutney. So when we press the sea buckthorn for the juice, you're left with the pulp. The chutney pulp uh, is extremely healthy for you. You can see the seeds in there and it's too good to throw away. We turn it into a chutney, which is great with Indian food or with fish. Again, very healthy. Great. What else you got? These are, this is a sea buckthorn oil, which uh, you will see this in uh, health products, anti-aging, uh, restorative. People use that on burns and cuts. Uh, in Chernobyl, in Russia, they used it on radiation burns. You're going to see a lot of that, not only for topically for skin care purposes, but uh, you're going to ingest that. Again, for very high in vitamin C. Good. I noticed you got some uh, cheese pairings there. Perhaps you can bring them over. So, the cheese pairings are, again, these are old fashioned recipes. There are no preservatives or additives. The, each one goes with different types of cheeses. And again, you're getting that flavonoid. Uh, the quince is very high in fiber. All of this coming from Southern Ontario, except the lemons. So what inspired you to do this in the first place? I left my old position, which was a product developer and designer in the textile industry, and I'm living in the middle of this very bountiful farmland and decided to do something that I believed in that uh, was a positive uh, aspect to my health and also to my community. So did you learn any of these recipes from your uh, mother? Yes, I did. My family background is Eastern European and it was very common to grow sea buckthorn or elderberry uh, in Europe and take these things for your health. Great. Uh, for more information, uh, the website? Wellingtonmade.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark.